six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff of the Saturn V rocket is 9.32 Eastern Daylight Time on July 16, 1969. A first stage burns under three minutes, then falls to the ocean from 50 kilometers in the air. The second stage burns another six minutes, shooting Apollo 11 to 160 kilometers above the Earth. The final stage takes Apollo 11 into orbit, just 13 minutes after launch. About 90 minutes into the journey, an engine ignites and Apollo 11 escapes the Earth's gravity. It's now hurtling to the moon at 40,000 kilometers per hour. Now a tricky task. The command and service module, the CSM, emerges from the rocket, spins 180 degrees, and docks with the bug-like lunar landing module, the Eagle. Three days pass. Apollo 11 enters the moon's orbit. The ship flips around, going backwards, Engines fire to slow the ship down. At this point, the Eagle separates from the CSM, creating a distance of at least three kilometers before the Eagle preps for its lunar landing. On board the Eagle, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin begin the one-hour descent to the moon. Touchdown is 4.18 p.m. ET on July 20th. Armstrong sets foot on the moon at 10.56 p.m. Aldrin joins him about 20 minutes later. The journey home begins the next day. The Eagle blasts off and in three hours reconnects with the CSM, piloted by Michael Collins. The CSM fires its engine. It slingshots around the moon back to Earth. Apollo 11 re-enters the world's orbit on July 24th. A cone-shaped landing capsule containing the three astronauts, separates from the ship, about 123 kilometers above the Earth. At first, the capsule is a fireball, plummeting through the atmosphere at 40,000 kilometers per hour. Parachutes deploy, the capsule slows. Splashdown, about 1,500 kilometers southwest of Hawaii. It is 12.40 p.m. ET on July 24th. Apollo 11 is back one giant trip for mankind.